Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video here on Crypto Loop. Today we're going to be talking about the Sam Bankman free to rest. Obviously, Sam thinks that he got arrested for no reason. A couple people are still defending him, saying that he was arrested for no reason. Um, but everybody who was defending him looks pretty dumb right now, including Kevin O'Leary and Co. We're going to take a look at the charges. We're going to take a look at all of the news that came out, Department of Justice and whatnot. We're going to take a look at some funny insights as well. Uh, let's get right into it. All right, so the criminal charges against Sam Bankman-Fried. Unfortunately, I had to pull this from CNN because I could not find the list of charges anywhere else um, on short notice. But anyways, here are the charges. Conspiracy to commit wire fraud on customers. Wire fraud on customers. Conspiracy to commit wire fraud on lenders. Wire fraud on lenders. Conspiracy to commit com commodities fraud. Conspiracy to commit securities fraud conspiracy to commit money laundering and conspiracy to defraud the u.s and violate uh and then this this part down there is cut off but regardless there's a ton of charges a ton of conspiracy charges and he is guilty of all of them all of these charges combined can add up to up to 120 or 115 years if i'm not mistaken so we're going to take a look right here this is a statement from the attorney general of the bahamas um, on the arrest of Sam Bankman-Fried. On 12th December, the Office of the Attorney General of the Bahamas is announcing the arrest by the Royal Bahamas Police Force of Sam Bankman-Fried, former CEO of FTX. SPF's arrest... Oh. FBS's arre uh, SPF's arrest followed receipt of a formal notification from the United States that it has filed criminal charges against SPF and is likely, likely to request his extradition. As a result of the notification received and the material provided therewith, it was deemed appropriate for the Attorney General to seek SPF's arrest and hold him in custody pursuant to our na nation's extradition act. At such time as a formal request for extradition is made, the Bahamas intends to process it promptly pursuant to Bahamian law and its treaty obligations with the United States. Now, we know that Sam was already denied bail. Um, he, he tried to post bail, but it was denied. Um, here we go. The next, uh, the next uh, inf piece of information right here. The defendant concealed his diversion of customer funds of crypto to crypto trading firm Alameda Research while raising more than 1.8 billion dollars from investors. So this is a part of the of the charges. Um, the SEC today charged Sam Bankman-Fried with orchestrating a scheme to defraud equity investors in FTX Trading Limited. The crypto trading platform of which he was the CEO and co-founder. Investigations as to other securities law securities law violations and into other entities and persons relating to the alleged misconduct are ongoing. According to the SEC's complaint, since at least May 2019, FTX raised more than $1.8 billion from equity investors, including approximately $1.1 billion from approximately 90 US-based investors. In his representations to investors, Bankman-Fried promoted FTX as a safe, responsible crypto asset trading platform, specifically touting FTX's sophisticated, automated risk measures to protect customer assets. The complaint alleges that, in reality, Bankman-Fried orchestrated a year-long fraud to conceal from FTX investors First of all, the undisclosed diversion of FTX customers' funds to Alameda Research, his privately held crypto hedge fund. Number two, the undisclosed special treatment afforded to Alameda on the FTX platform, including providing Al Alameda with a virtually unlimited line of credit funded by the platform's customers and exempting Alameda from certain key FTX risk mitigation measures. And number three, undisclosed risks stemming from FTX's exposure to Alameda's significant holdings of overvalued, illiquid assets such as FTX affiliated tokens that includes FTT and so on. Um, he used uh, the customer funds from Alameda to make undisclosed venture investments, lavish real estate purchases, and large political donations. Also, something else came out. Uh, FTX used QuickBooks for their accounting. If you guys don't know QuickBooks, it's a great um, it's a cool it's a great tool or for bookkeeping for small businesses. But FTX is a billion dollar company, and QuickBooks is the last tool that a billion dollar company should be using. So. Massive, massive failures on all fronts by FTX. Um, in the charges, they basically laid out everything he did, and it's exactly as we suspected. So everything Sam was saying in the interview was all a massive lie, and he was definitely arrested for a reason, um, and he is where he belongs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.